Today, on behalf of the Spanish Ambassador to the United States, Brigadier General Pedro Alejandro Garcia Sapols. General? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Ladies and gentlemen, military colleagues, brothers and arms. We gather here today to reflect one of the most pivotal moments in American history, the Battle of Yorktown, which marked the turning point in the Revolutionary War, the victory led to the eventual independence of the United States. And while we recognize the leadership of George Washington and the crucial support of France, it's important to highlight another key contributor, the crown of Spain. Spain's role in the American Revolution. Thank you. <laughs> Spain's role in the American Revolution is often overlooked, but its impact was significant, especially in the context of the old town. To understand this, we must consider Spain's broader involvement in the war and the vital contributions it made. From the outset, Spain, led by the King Charles III, supported the American colonies' cause. However, it did not formally declare war against Britain until 1779. Spain's strategic decision was shaped by its own geopolitical interests, as well as its rivalry with Britain. Nevertheless, this does not diminish the fact that Spain's assistance was critical to weakening British forces and securing an American victory. Let me begin by acknowledging the efforts of Bernardo de Galvez, the Spanish governor of Louisiana. Galvez played a crucial role in the much needed Second Southern Front, conducting successful campaigns against the British forces along the Gulf Coast. His victories at Baton Rouge in 1779, Mobile 1780, and Pensacola on the 8th of May 1780 diverted British forces and resources and attention away from the colonies. Thus, he's in the pressure on American forces fighting for the north. Bernardo de Galvez was the last historical figure to be granted the great honor of being declared honorary citizen of the United States. Only eight people have been privileged with this. One of them, of course, Marquis of Lafayette. Last 21st of June in Madrid, the Secretary of the Navy, Carlos del Toro, announced that a future constellation guide Missile Frigate FFG-67 will be named U.S. Galvez. And it will be one of the sister ships of the FFG-65 USS Lafayette. Back to history. Another strategic operation took place at sea in the summer of 1780 when a large British convoy of over 60 ships set out from Portsmouth to the American colonies and Oriental Indies. A Spanish fleet of 20 ships, along with six French vessels, commanded by Admiral Luis de Cordoba, intercepted the convoy and apprehended 52 ships. Over 3,000 prisoners were taken along, with 80,000 muskets, 3,000 barrels of gunpowder, clothes and provisions for 12 infantry regiments and one million pounds. This was a very severe blow and arguably Britain's greatest logistical disaster during the war. This action, when announced, prompted the collapse of the London Stock Exchange. Perhaps more importantly, Galvez ensured that vital Spanish and French supplies reached the American Continental Army through the Mississippi River and the Port of New Orleans. Without these supplies, 
the Continental Army would have struggled to maintain its resistance against the well-equipped British troops. At Yorktown, specifically, Spain's indirect, powerful contribution were indispensable. Spain's engagement in Europe forced Britain to defend the, its empire on multiple fronts. By keeping British forces stretched thin in Europe and the Caribbean, Spain effectively prevented reinforcement from reaching General Cornwallis, who was encircled at Yorktown by the combined American and French armies. In the critical months before the siege of Yorktown, Spain raised much needed funds to sustain the American war effort, including those to pay French and American troops that true who have received no wages for months. Finally, it's important to recognize that Spain's contributions extended beyond the battlefield. Spanish diplomats, especially Diego de Gardoqui, worked tirelessly in Europe to build support to the American cause. Spain's alliance with France was critical in isolating Britain and creating the conditions for a favorable peace settlement. In conclusion, while well, the Battle of Yorktown is remembered as an American and French victory, let us recall that the road to freedom was not walked alone. The Spanish people and their leaders were crucial partners in the fight for liberty, and the legacy deserves our recognition and gratitude.